My body sees body. My mind connects with mind. If I'm going to connect with the divinity, with the soul of another being, that's not going to come from my body or my intellectual mind. That's going to come from my soul. From me meeting that person. From soul. From spirit. From love. So, yeah, it's vulnerable. Yeah, it requires the heart to be open. But the truth really is that by having your heart closed, you're not protecting yourself. We think if I just don't open my heart, I won't get hurt. But the truth is that the suffocation, the absolute suffocation that we experience by having our hearts closed is much more damaging than the pain that we may feel if we open our heart and someone takes advantage. And the truth is that's what happens. Anybody who has lived their life with an open heart, lived their life from a place of openness, vulnerability, you know you get hurt sometimes. Hurt of experiencing the universe. It's a hurt of being alive. It's a hurt of being engaged and connected to life. The hurt that we experience when I'm not connected is a much worse hurt. It's a, it's a dungeon of my own creation in which I literally suffocate and wither and die. So we open our hearts, not with an expectation that we won't be hurt, because you will be hurt eventually. Not with an expectation that no one's going to take advantage of us. People will. They've all got their karmic packages they're dealing with. But we open our heart because we know, I, I have taken birth in a human form to experience true freedom, true spiritual freedom and awakening. And I cannot do that with a closed fearful heart. I cannot do that coming at the world, moving through the world from my body or from my intellectual mind. The only way for me to experience what I'm here to experience is from the place of soul. To drop into that truth of who I am and move through the world, experiencing the world from that place. And the truth is, actually, it's less vulnerable. And the reason it's less vulnerable is When I'm coming at a relationship from a place of my physical body, my identity, my personal history, or my mind, well, then it matters a lot how that person acts. Because I need them to act a certain way, to speak a certain way, to treat me a certain way, in order for me to hold on to this identity of I'm something in order for me to hold on to the identity of this relationship, in order for me to feel okay about myself, I need that person to respond to me with love, with appreciation, with respect, with loyalty. But if I'm actually moving through the world as soul, as spirit, as divinity, as love, love unbounded, love unbridled, love unbordered or boundaried by this relationship, what I need from you, then the truth actually is I am less susceptible to getting hurt. 
Because even when people act in ways that may not be what I would have chosen if it had been up to me, even when the universe acts in ways that may not be what I would have chosen if I'd been given a choice, I don't collapse. I don't fall. Because I, the true I, the soul, the spirit I, the divinity I, is not wrapped up in how people are treating me, how they're speaking to me, who's approving, who's appreciating, who's complimenting. I'm not dependent on that. So the truth actually is that your real open-heartedness, your grounding and anchoring in divinity is beautifully, ironically, your best inoculation against getting hurt by other people's actions or other people's words. And it's your only opportunity, your only way to actually experience what you're here for. So take the deep dive. Everyone who's ever done it has come back for more. Everyone who's ever done it has said it was the best choice they ever made. That open-hearted, spiritually connected, spiritually awake, absolutely courageous co-creation of our life, is not only what we're here for, but it is the only way and the best way to experience that bliss, that love, that joy, that peace that we all want. So stop waiting. Stop worrying. 